What God showed this ex-Satanist and high-ranking witch about the battle between Archangel Michael and Lucifer will shock you. What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Erica Musica was a servant of Satan who was deep into witchcraft. Being in the occult for almost two decades, she could physically feel darkness when down on her soul and felt so much anguish and stress from constantly serving Lucifer. I mean, I don't blame her. That guy's whack. <laughs> Erica gets tormented by demons so much to the point where she wanted an escape from Satanism. She would get strangled by demonic entities every night once they found out that she actually wanted to leave the kingdom of darkness. She was in so much pain and wanted to find truth so she started going to different churches. One day she heard the word of the Lord tell her to open up the scripture Exodus 3 7 and she was in tears about how relevant the scripture was to the torment that she was facing. She heard a powerful voice but she wasn't able to discern that it was God because she was so used used to talking to spirits all the time. But this voice was different, she says. During this time, though, she was met with more spiritual opposition, and when she did a Bible study with her brother one day, as he was reading Psalms 40, it was so powerful that she actually fainted. The Word of God has so much power, and one thing the enemy would always tell her is to never go around Christians reading the Word of God. Once she fainted, she was completely unconscious, and her grandma, who was a practicing Satanist, actually astral projected into her body. And Erica's mom testifies that her daughter's body actually shaped shifted into the form of Erica's grandmother. Now, some of the American Christians watching this are probably like, yo, that's crazy talk. My guy, you have no idea the amount of spiritual warfare that goes on in these other countries. Now, I'm not about to be arguing with y'all Western Christians about if this stuff is real or not. This stuff is happening all around the world. If you're programmed, I don't want to hear it, okay? I'm not, I'm not getting in debates with y'all. This stuff happens, okay? They start burning all the cursed demonic items that Erica's grandmother gave to her. And simultaneously, far away, her grandmother's actual body starts burning at the same time. The enemy used this as an opportunity to afflict Erica with sickness to try to kill her. Erica's mom gathers a bunch of Christian intercessors to gather around and pray for Erica because the sickness was greatly afflicting her. Erica then explains that this was the final part of her deliverance out of Satan's kingdom into God's kingdom. When this happened, God allowed her to have an out-of-body experience where she witnessed the first time that Archangel Michael actually defeated Lucifer in hell. Let's check out this video. During that time of my deliverance, it's now when God helped me to see Angel Michael. And I had promised to explain to you how Angel Michael looks like during the time that Angel Michael went to hell to strangle Satan. What I saw was so powerful. People, God is so powerful. Our God is a consuming fire. I saw Angel Michael. We call him Angel Michael, but he calls himself Michael. So when he introduced himself to me, he said, I'm Michael. But uh, when I explained, they told me he's Angel Michael. So for me, I believe it's, it's the same pronunciation, but it's Mikael. the same. Yes. So that angel appeared in hell. He came like fire. And then he held Satan. Because even Satan is, I explained to you, he can also, uh, he, he can also transform into fire. Yes, because he's the kind of angel he is or angelic being. He's also a seraph. Yes. He's also of the cherubim family. Yes. He's also, yeah. So seraph, that pertains to those those angelic beings that walk up and down in the midst of, of the coals of, of fire. fire. So They live in that. That's their environment. That's yes. Like, like the same way water is to a fish, so fire is to the seraph. So when they were calling fire, Angel Michael appeared like fire. But you would see a form, a structure of a being, but in form of fire. Oh. And then he started fighting with Saturn, and Saturn also changed into form of fire. Mm -hmm. So this war was between, <laughs> was between adults. <laughs> and the children had to step back <laughs> and, and watch. Mm -hmm. So we were seeing just like a whirlwind, fire rotating, Angel Michael fighting with Saturn. Mm -hmm. But how I would know that this is Angel Michael? he had turned into a face of a lion. Wow. And then what made me observe Saturn, he turned into the beast. That's when I saw him in a form of a beast. This time he did not turn into a lion. 
Mm-hmm. The Bible says he roars like a lion, seeking whom he might devour. Yes, but now Angel Michael had a face of a lion, but Satan had turned into a beast. He had four legs, he had seven heads, and he had ten horns. The same way he's described in the book of Revelation. Yes, and this Angel Michael is rotating around him, but you could see the the shape, the the shape of the beast mm-hmm. and the shape of the uh, of this fiery being with the face of a lion. Then I heard again certain screaming and when I looked again to see what is happening as we were observing because now me they had held my soul so I'm observing to see what is taking place and Satan is screaming mm-hmm. then I see him now in in his normal f- of form like a human being like a male mm-hmm. human being and then I'm also seeing Angel Michael like a very masculine male human being mm-hmm. but pale not not like uh, light or black you know pale in color mm. and now lucifer or angel michael Ikara. and lucifer both of them both of them yes and he had put satan down he had you know like you overpower somebody and put him down yes yes and now that's when he was able to talk to me so when they want to communicate to us they turn into our 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 kind yes into our kind so that's when he said follow me hold my hand my name is Michael i am taking you back to your body today you have been delivered so now that's how i was able to communicate with him when he turned into into uh, my my kind mm-hmm. that's how we were able to communicate but before me i was seeing wonders i'm <laughs> seeing power there was a demonstration of power two fires meeting and fighting and one overpowers the other and they change into their real forms and then Saturn is put to sub submission he's sub he's overpowered okay so when Satan was overpowered he just lay there or he was knocked out or he stayed there on the ground so he could not even move so meaning that Michael had overwhelmed him he had been temporarily subdued. Yes. And when he, when he's subdued in this way he has to stay down for some time. He it's stayed like it's, down uh-huh. and when I'm getting out he's screaming no. But he has nothing to do he's powerless. Right. So that's now how I found myself in my body. The reason why I share videos like this is because this shows God's ultimate sovereign power over the enemy. Think about this. God is so powerful that he is enthroned on high while one of his created angels can ruthlessly beat down the greatest enemy of humankind. Man, Yahweh is just sitting there like, all right, go do it. Yahweh's a legend, bruh. Anyways, in this day and age, Satan and his minions are showing out like never before. Witchcraft and sorcery are becoming so popular now in this generation because we have a whole group of people who are extremely lost, but they know that there's something beyond this natural world. However, the devil preys on this and pushes them further away from the true loving God, Yahweh, that can give them the freedom and peace that they are seeking. I do want to say though, as believers in Jesus Christ, it's important that we don't spend all of our time focusing on what the devil is doing, but to keep our eyes on things above and tap into heaven's blueprints. But just because we are directing our eyes on things above doesn't mean we need to be blind about the things going down below. Whenever I watch these videos about warlocks or witches, I'm not fascinated by their satanic power. Instead, it makes me in awe of the God that we serve and how powerful he is. With that being said, use testimonies like this to further understand your authority in Jesus Christ. We are children of God and we do not need to live our life being bullied by satanic agents. In Psalm 34, 7, it says, Says this the angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. Jesus also says in Luke 10 19, Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Not only do we have angels surrounding us, but we also have authority against demons and Satan because Jesus Christ lives inside of us. It's so important as a believer that we fight this war with the mindset on being on offense. The best way as a Christian to make it to the finish line is to spend time in the secret place and read your Bible. You don't do this stuff just to make yourself a better person. You do this stuff to strengthen your rank in the spirit and strengthen your authority over regions, territories, whatever God wants you to take dominion over. We got the secret sauce that these Satanists don't have, which is a relationship with the Most High God. And those who dwell in His presence cannot be sabotaged. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you would like me to cover next. If you guys want to watch my last video, simply click up here. And if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, simply click up here. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Wash from all my sins and now I'm clean. My
asshole was almost lost, he intervened, oh yeah Now I'm sipping for the Nazarene